the first step is to stop defining things as loss. It's just a change. You only experience it as a loss because you're defining it as a loss. So stop defining it as something being lost. Right. That yes? makes sense. That's the first step. You have to redefine in order to have a different experience. Because physical reality isn't real on its own. It's only the product of what you define it to be. Because it's just a projection of your consciousness. Mm -hmm. So if you change the definition, you change the experience because you change the perspective of how you interact with that portion or reflection of your consciousness. Right. Yes? Yeah. In the same way that if, again, you're looking in a mirror, you could see your reflection frowning, oh no, I've lost. Mm -hmm. But then you could understand it's not about changing the reflection physically, it's about changing your own face. Then you'll see a different reflection. Yes? Yeah. So you redefine the idea of the state you prefer by saying, well, it doesn't matter what I'm seeing in the reflection. Just because the reflection is frowning, that doesn't in any way, shape, or form prevent me from deciding to smile. I can just decide to smile. And when I do, the reflection will have no choice but to smile back. That's true. But if you are waiting for the reflection to change, you'll be waiting a long time. Because it can't change before you do. So... Definitions create reflections. If you want to see a different reflection, you have to change the definition in the same way that you have to change the expression on your face to see a different one in the mirror. Make sense? Yeah, yes, that does make sense. So that's the first step. And then you'll see things differently. You'll be able to use the changes that have happened in more powerful and positive ways. You can see them for what they could be and how you could use them to learn more about yourself and become more of who you really prefer to be in that way. Yes? 